I am so excited to be in Jill's home. Um, as, as a lot of you know, I'm doing this video podcast series to introduce you to the faces behind who are supported, who are supporting this fundraising effort to support our community here in Atlanta and in, in mental health and wellness. And Jill Ford is a really dear friend of mine who creates these amazing pieces of work that are expansive, are, there's so much depth to the feeling of just being in the presence of these, of your works of art. I'm sorry, you're right here. When I'm talking like you're not even here. Um, and I remember the first time that I saw one of your paintings, it was, you had invited me over to your, your old house yeah, um, for a job. <laughs> and, um, and Jill was going to get, is gifted me one of her paintings and she was kind of going through them and I just had this overall, um, like this physical reaction. It was, it was a very visceral reaction. I started crying. Yeah, you burst into tears. I, I was crying <laughs> uncontrollably. I was, I, and I didn't know where this emotion was coming from. It was just, but it was like this, it was a release, but it was also this feeling of home, home and love, like this immense love. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, and I think that that's, that, that is exactly what home is to me is this space of love. Yeah. We can figure that out. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what I'm wanting to do today is introduce you to Jill's work and this combination of us working together with, um, prana painting and sound healing. And I'd love for you to share, actually, um, let me rewind a minute. I'd love to hear, I'd love for you to share with people um, a little bit about your work mm -hmm. and the, um, what, how this came to be and mm -hmm. what prana painting is. All right. Um, hi guys, I'm Jill Ford and, um, yeah, let's see. I, I started painting a few years ago. Um, I went to school for art, but you know, in art school, they don't let you do fun stuff. <laughs> they really don't. They don't let you do what you want to do. <laughs> so, um, it wasn't until, um, I had my son that I started painting again. And I was watching him throw his milk on the floor with his bottle. He was, he would splatter it. And, um, I was inspired. <laughs> so I started, I actually started painting again and I, I started by actually doing that. I cut open a, a bottle, a nipple off of this bottle and filled it full of paint and really, yeah. And that's how I started painting again. But then, um, that got to be just too tedious with the bottle. So I, one day I was just in my studio and I started, um, moving the paint with my breath and mm -hmm. it felt so natural to, to paint that way. Um, I was a traditional painter for many years and throwing out the paint brushes and just using my lungs, using my breath, mm. um, felt like it was the, the way home for me. Um, it was, it was just natural to, to paint that way. Um, and it has evolved over the years. Um, I, I actually quit my full-time job, um, a few months ago. Yeah to dive headfirst into painting. Um, and for any, any entrepreneur, anybody yeah. who has a passion for something, I, I know I can relate. Not for the faint of heart. <laughs> it's a courageous act. It is. Um, it was completely like I was standing on the edge of a cliff. And at the time, my whole world was just crumbling around me. Um, and what I will share with you guys is 
I lost my eight month old daughter um, unexpectedly. She died of SIDS at eight months old. And this was seven months ago. Mm -hmm. So um, as part of like my healing of myself um, from, from losing her, um, I threw myself into my work and um, this is a way that I am able to grieve and express myself and my grief um, and navigate my grief. There's no amount of therapy that um, can do for me like what painting does for me. Mm. Um, so uh, this, my art is ultimately, and just so you guys know, like she had nothing wrong with her. She was completely healthy and it was unexpected. And what I know and what Danielle knows about my little girl is um, she came here with a mission. Yes. And completed that mission very quickly. And it was, um, it was an honor to be her mother. And I am her mother still. Um, and as much as that was her path that she was on, she set me on mine. And I love that piece of the story too, is how Miss Everly mm -hmm. came into your life. Yeah. All of our lives mm -hmm. touch, is touching all of us yeah. and even is giving you the courage through this grief mm -hmm. to uh, create these pieces mm -hmm. and and I guys like when you didn't see the the whole setup we'll I'll show some pictures of the setup I've done a little bit of video of it um it's so intentional the the time it takes in the prep of just setting the energy and the intention with the canvas um before she even begins to paint I set up a crystal grid on the canvas space. And um, you did this 24 hours. You did yeah, this yesterday. I let it sit in ritual. So mm -hmm. I, I do it. Sometimes it sits for days before it's really ready. Mm. Um, and I just continue to light a candle and light a candle and light a candle. And, and it lets me know when it's ready. And then sometimes it'll be like, no, I need some feathers, you know? <laughs> and so, um, so my, yeah, the grid, I set the grid days in advance. Um, and let it sit in ritual. Um, but I love that to too. It's like canvas. it is is creating this amount of presence too mm -hmm. in the now. And whenever we can connect with that presence and being in the now, we are able to really receive those divine messages of, it, in this case, feathers. Or mm -hmm. was there anything that came through for for this piece today that we're gonna work together on? Um, it was the first time I've done a grid in like a circular. Like it was very circular, um, continue like mm. the, the continuous, like it, that's just what keeps coming up is it's continuous concentric circle. And it, there's like this, there's something about like one, oneness, like we are all one, we are all one, we are all one that, um, is playing over and over in my head. I'm getting chills. Cause <laughs> one of the things that with this fundraiser that I keep talking about is we're creating this ecosystem. Mm -hmm. that every little piece is mm -hmm. helping the next piece and that is helping the thing that helped it before. And so, you know, you supporting me in this fundraiser is also me supporting you mm -hmm. in your, in your business. Yeah. Um, We're all just specks of dust here floating around yeah. and, we're and all, connecting and, we, and moving we're all from, from the, you know, from the source, yeah. and from the creator and, and the, I honor that um, in my work with with the with the with the elements. So I I also this is really important piece um, too. Paint with um, water sourced from various places. Um, in this case today, I am going to be painting with full moon rainwater infused with black tourmaline mm. for protection. Um, very grounding. Very grounding, protective. Yeah, it transmutes negative energies. Mm -hmm. 
And I love that's going to be in the paint. In the paint. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's sat in ritual on the canvas as well. Like I always mm -hmm. put my water there, but I I paint with water and earth um, in my pieces, and then um, I use my breath as the element of air to move the paint, and then every painting is eventually fired. So cured mm. with fire. Yeah. So all four elements. I didn't even think about that part of it. Yeah. All four elements are present in my work. Um, and people have shipped me water from like. Yeah, this is rad. All so over the world. You can commission a piece <laughs> with Jill and send her your water and your earth. Mm -hmm. And she will breathe the intention into mm -hmm. all of that. And that's, that's really something that I'm stoked to share with people because this is this is also researched by Dr. Emoto. If you if you haven't heard of Dr. Emoto, Google him. Um, he's done research on um, the frequency of speaking. speaking and emotions into water, into rice, into mm -hmm. you know, all of these different things and and how that changes the molecular the, structure of the water. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what we're, that's what we do with sound. That is part yeah. of what sound healing is. That is part of intention. Well, our and bodies are what? How, what percent water? It, what is like 60, 80? I don't know. Look, Google it. There it, it, it's, <laughs> I should know this one. <laughs> our bodies are incredibly impacted by water um, mm -hmm. and sound. And it's only, it only makes sense to incorporate sound into my painting. I think it's going to be really rad. It, they are rad. Yeah. Uh, and so with, with this particular fundraiser, this, this fundraiser that we're, that I'm producing uh, is Wednesday, December 19th. It's at the planetarium. I'm having four other sound practitioners co-create this experience with me. It's epic. We can seat 500 people. Um, we already have 120 seats booked, uh, filled. So this is amazing. amazing I got a amazing. babysitter. <laughs> like it's a get a babysitter. Jill's going to be there. You can come meet her. Yeah. She's contributing to the auction, mm -hmm. which you can check out the link in my bio and, and see the piece of art that she's, um, contributed uh, and this is going to be part of that in a way too and so we'll spell that out for you and what that's going to look like but um the the fundraiser is is this sense of home mm -hmm. it's about this sense of home that we there's you know I, I believe that um everybody wants to make change in the world but when they start thinking about the problems of the world, they just feel so enormous mm -hmm. that we lose sight of, but we get overwhelmed by that and then we lose sight of what we can do in our own backyard, that we lose sight of what we can do for our neighbors and our own home. And so, and it matters how we show up and how we, what we do here, it matters. It matters. When we, when we go, go back home mm -hmm. to the other side one day, it matters what we do here um, and, and not how much money we make or um, yeah, like all of those things. It matters that we were kind, that we, we, we are showing love. We are here to love and be love. And um, my little girl taught me that like none of nothing else matters. Um, truly we are here to love with everything we have and be and show love and be love in this world and you get what you give like you get what you give and the like giving someone your heart is like the most generous important thing we can do while we're here thank you for all of that i'm i'm getting a little bit emotional about that because i mean you said it so perfectly it's what I, what I want people to feel even coming to this experience is that love, mm -hmm. um, that they, you are appreciated for your contribution of the ticket, your mm -hmm. contribution as, 
you know, a sponsor or an in-kind sponsor or donating, um, volunteering, it's, it's important. And so now we're going to start to, um, transition into the creation space. Um, I'm going to paint. Jill's gonna paint, and at you see the sound healing set up in the back here. And Danielle's um, gonna play, and just like side note, we've never done this no. together before. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry, I'll apologize for my butt potentially being in the camera <laughs> at some point because that just happens. I, it's a full on workout I get mm -hmm. painting, so yeah, we're gonna see <laughs> what comes through in this download, this channel, and. Um, and then, uh, have like a little recap at the end of what we both experienced in, in create, co-creating this experience for you to witness. <sighs> okay. So thank you for being with us on this little journey here. And, um, I think we're going to get grounded first and, um, I think I need a little bit of grounding before we go into it. I need water. And water. <laughs> And just so you guys know, um, I start out with like, so this, these are all like individual or, and I place mm -hmm. them all together um, as one big piece. But then midway through painting, I will pull them all apart. So we start as one and then I pull them apart and give each canvas um, its own like special attention and detail work. So I think it's important to note, um, it's kind of like us, like we're all one and we're all so powerful together. Um, and yet we are all separate individuals, right? So, yeah. I, I, I don't have to do any talking on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what's up. Okay. Yeah. All right, I am going to sit right here. I like to be near this bad boy.
Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I I don't think that we, we didn't really give each other the time to kind of integrate afterwards. It just kind of like turned this the the Instagram live back on and just kind of sat in front of here. But I think I'm still processing what we just did. Um, mm -hmm. um, so sorry guys on um, Instagram Live who were watching and then it ended. Um, you'll have the opportunity to see the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna post this uh, video on my website um, a little bit later, like next week. <laughs> Um, that's fair being realistic here on uh, on time and, and everything but um um so I I wish we could pick these up for you to see or do maybe like do a little scan yeah. in a little bit Let me take a shot sure and um but I wanted I want to hear from you on what that was like first of having somebody in your space while you're creating mm -hmm. and two the 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 sound how the sound experience either was like just how was that for you yeah so having someone in my space I usually don't have anyone in my space and what I will say is I truly didn't feel my friends like I just didn't feel like you were even here like it just like um ex except for when you started playing it it felt peaceful like I have had someone in my space before and I had to redo every single painting mm. um so yeah it was it was nice it felt complimentary um instead of intrusive which it can sometimes feel intrusive. Um, I'm sure it's a it's a really intimate process to yeah to even there were times that I I actually was able to be conscious enough of what I besides what I was doing to witness what you were doing, but I also dropped into a really deep space and and usually when I do sound bath experiences, people are you know they're laying down with their eyes closed yeah. and nobody's watching me while I'm going into that. And I did, wasn't even, I, at one point I did look and you were like facing the other way and I was mm. just like, she's doing her thing. I'm doing mine. And I think the two integrated so beautifully. Um, it helped me actually to drop in mm. to my rhythm of painting um, quicker. I would say I was able to get into a really good flow quicker and um, and when you were chanting that, I don't know if you guys saw that part, um, that, that was when I was like, I actually felt my, like, I was just like dizzy, like mm. third eye. I almost like went into child's pose um, in a good way though. Like, yeah. um, and I, I, my, I felt like my ancestors were all around me. Um, I'm Native American. I'm part of a Santa Rosa Creek Indian tribe in Florida. And um, my ancestors, it was just like, it was like so native. It was mm. so um, indigenous in, in, the, in your voice. And I literally could feel my ancestors around me, which happens, right? We, yeah. They're there to support us. So. Um, that piece, that love, particular piece, uh, when you were doing that, I w it like, it, it did it felt like I, I was out of my body, mm. um, in a good way. <laughs> um, it's, it's interesting, you know, like I, I catch myself doing this too sometimes of like saying like out of my body, but in a good way, right. Just in case there's somebody who's like, I don't know what that means. This is kind of scary or weird. Um, and you know, in my, because like we're, we're at least, you know, I've been, so I've been doing sound healing for seven years now. And it's like, there's still times that that little piece of fear comes in around what I do and, yeah. and how I speak about spirituality or you don't want people, people to think you're weird. 
Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the weird. I'm, but like, I think my my fear comes from if if I am ex- fully expressed in what I do. Yeah. Which you know, I'm I'm step. I'm, yeah, I'm even stepping more and more into that. Um, being fully expressed. Then does that scare people away from me trying to make what sound healing is mm-hmm. accessible to people? So that's a conversation that keeps coming up for me. Um, and so the voice stuff is a very vulnerable thing for me even to bring mm. with you and on, on it being was, video because I don't even bring that into my sound bath. Right. Next year, next year there's, well, we'll talk about next year, like a little bit later, but, um, yeah. so it was that piece, that part. I just, I felt like that was because I am do I am exploring in more and more of my Native American side, and oh. that piece just, I was like, it felt like home. It felt like I was like, in another time, in another space with, with my people, mm. and like being and it, doing the work that I'm doing. Um, I felt so supported and loved. Like I felt my ancestors around me in that moment. So, it was it was wild. It was good. I love it. I don't even know where this this voice comes from that particular origin of where that comes from it's just something that's i honestly feels channeled it's Mm -hmm. it's when i drop into that meditative state that is the voice that wants to come out of my body (laughs) um yeah and i think it was usually i listen to like some you know spotify channel or something (laughs) when i'm painting um this was just i felt it and you know it all throughout my body and I was so relaxed and I don't know. It was different. It was just a different experience, truly. And I do, I can see it in my work too. Like, (laughs) um, it's yeah. Well, well, I'll show you my breath. My breath like got really like deep and reminded me of whenever I was like breathing through (laughs) contractions and labor, like the the lower the vibration Mm. of my, of like, my groans um with my breath mm-hmm. um the lower the baby would go and that that's I literally it felt like I was birthing like it was like this low groan um that I've never experienced before when when using my breath to paint I don't think I've ever used like sound in my breath when I'm moving the breath like oh, wow. it can, just came out and I was like this I loved and I loved hearing the different sounds that you were creating or and like even the walking around or the spraying or the you know hitting your chimes and it just it all it influenced what came next for me even Mm. um this really beautiful co-creation of the sound and and the creation on the canvas was there um particular intentions or thoughts that were popping up throughout okay this is gonna be really weird (laughs) I was bringing on. We already got weird with everybody. We already got weird with the folks. Um, <laughs> a word. There was one word that kept coming to me over and over and over, and it was milagros. What does that mean? It means miracle. Really, a miracle oh, in Spanish. Milagros, milagro, milagro, milagro. And I don't speak Spanish, FYI. So. Um, milagro kept coming over and over and over and miracle 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 in my head and I'm not sure what that means well I mean I know what miracles mean like I believe in miracles maybe Mm -hmm. um but that is the one word I never milagros milagros I love that well and then that's that is what's being channeled and and breathed into these paintings miracle miracle <laughs> this is the miracle series. Miracle. <laughs> Full moon rainwater miracle series. Wow, girl. And I do I so and this is not a word. La milagrosa. <laughs> La miracle candle. Wow. Yeah. It it it's the only candle that burned out. All everything else. Oh yeah, they're all still they're burning. They're all still burning. Except for the mirror the La Milagrosa candle. You breathed it into the paintings. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, like, I know that some other people can can relate to this, and I've, I've had a couple conversations, too, with people who are 
quote unquote coming out of the spiritual closet, you know, and um, spirituality doesn't have to necessarily mean religion. It doesn't have to necessarily mean, um, you know, to, I'll say what it means to me. Um, for me, spirituality is connecting to that deeper part of myself mm -hmm. that is connected to universal consciousness. Your soul body. My soul body. And it's the thing that that anchors me back up to the heavens, mm -hmm. back up to all the interconnectedness yeah, of all of us. And so if you're having a question about um, spirituality or like what we're talking about with this, it's really all about energy. Um, and thank well, you. One part water and one part dust. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so thank you for, for joining us in that conversation of what that is, at least for us, and take take what's good for you and leave the rest. Um, integrate what's good for you and leave the rest. Um, we're, I'm going to, yeah, I, I'm processing. I'm still processing. For me, uh, on my side, um, it was really interesting because I dropped in really quickly mm -hmm. after the breath and the calling in. Um, and it's, it's interesting to me because I don't usually play all of the instruments that I bring in a setting, in a sitting. Um, I, I adopted Jonathan Goldman's philosophy of more is not better, louder is not better, mm -hmm. longer is not better. And I think that that holds true for, for like, I believe every practitioner, every sound healing practitioner should adopt that. Um, so it was really interesting that all of the instruments were speaking to me to be played, almost like screaming at me to My be ancestors. played. <laughs> like, get it all. Like, I hardly ever play the shakers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, this is happening. This is what's coming in. Yeah. You know, we're, we're getting to it. They're bossy. Well, it was like the message was um, prepare the space, which was the, the goals essentially for the beginning. And then it was now clear the space. And that was where the shakers mm -hmm. were coming in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, we're clearing the space. And then it wasn't until the space was cleared that like this other channeling was coming in around um, okay, it's, it's now safe for both of our nervous systems to take in the gong. Mm -hmm. And, that, you know, the, the interesting thing with the gong is that it either, it either brings up emotions for people mm -hmm. or somebody settles right into it. And it's like this loving kind of hug. hug yes. Warm, um, blanket. Um, and then the drum afterwards, it was like all of those things were channeled in that order to be so continue to shift and change mm -hmm. that's the beautiful part like they're pretty much settled um but they will continue to shift and change a little bit as they dry i don't think i noticed before the even like there's the texture, texture. coming yeah. out of some of these too mm -hmm. i'm in love with this one mm -hmm. yeah okay i'm like i'm in love with this one and this one. <laughs> um they're all their own little beings like they all have it, personality. They do. Yeah. And there's some that I'm like, I'm fighting with you right now. <laughs> and there's some that I'm like, oh, you're beautiful. And I'm, yeah, it just, it, but then I always end up go, like the one, it makes me want to love the ones that mm -hmm. I'm fighting with harder and, um, and put a little more into them and they, they end up absorbing to where I want them. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your process, mm -hmm. for inviting us into your home, mm -hmm. your home studio. And I, guys, you don't know this, but there's this big, lovely, great Dane, great Dane, who's just been so chill the whole time. You haven't heard her at all. She did bark when you were. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear. Yeah. I was, maybe I was gone. You were gone. That she contributed, apparently. Okay. Well, then you did get to hear her, but she did so good. Yeah. She's still a puppy. She's not yeah. even six. She's six she's months. She's six months and 75 pounds. <laughs> yeah. She's a horse. Frida. Her um, name is Frida. And just so you guys know, too, like, my husband and I are 
we, um, before my daughter died, three weeks before my daughter, Everly, died, um, my husband got into surfing. So we actually, um, and I, we don't feel that we're done having children, um, mm-hmm. and we want to help a child. Um, no more children are coming out of my body. <laughs> That's for certain. Um, well, nothing for certain, but Let's miracles. No. <laughs> I'm turning 40. Um, so like this, like work is funding my, our adoption fund. Mm. So, um, adoption's not cheap. Right. And, um, we are saving up to, um, to adopt a baby. Um, yeah. Cause I'm not done. And I knew that the minute I just knew, like, I had her for that, for those eight months that like, I'm not done. And, um, we're supposed to help a child. So my work goes towards us doing that. Oh, wow. (laughs) Yeah. I love that this just got, it just brings that sense of home even, Mm -hmm. even closer of, I mean, you, your work is going towards that in this way to bring a child into your home. And it's also my healing. It's how I heal. I love you, baby. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Oh my gosh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Everly is, you know, she is. She is. Yeah. And she would want me to share. And she wants me to celebrate her. And um, yeah, so feels good, feels right to celebrate her. And she will not fully ascend until I have another child, <laughs> have another baby. So I have to. Um, this get on kid it. is like he's coming and visiting. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for sharing your story with us. Um, I think that that's going to be a really powerful story for a lot of people to connect with. Um, Thank you for being a part of this fundraiser Mm -hmm. too, and, and giving, and giving back to our community in this way and to kids because both of these organizations that we're supporting are supporting kids and supporting kids. We've lost and supporting kids. We've lost Kate's club. When major's old enough, my son, I want to send him to Kate's club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Powerful program. Powerful program. Mm. Um, uh, I know I could talk to you forever on all of this. Okay. Thank you um, all for watching this. Um, And I look forward to continuing to share the stories of the faces behind this fundraiser and making this happen and their talents and what they're bringing to our community. Uh, please, please, please check out Jill's website. I'll have all of that information for you so that you can check out her work. We also, she donated a piece to the online auction so you can take a look at that. I'm so grateful. Um, And um, we'll show you these amazing paintings that uh, she created in this co-creation process. So thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you.